and thank you for logging on to Hockey TV. We're here at Sonny Lane, home of Reading Hockey Club, for the now pensioned Hockey Men's League playoffs. It's playoff match four, and it's Sheffield Hallam against Cardiff and Dewitt. And now over to your match commentator, Nick Irvin. Into our next game, Sheffield Hallam taking on Cardiff UWIC. And it was Sheffield taking the lead through Phil Roper with a six-minute penalty corner. Wonderful uh, flick high beyond the goalkeeper. Cardiff had equalised from the penalty spot through Tim Jones, but Sheffield again taking the lead. Again, it was Phil Roper, this time in open play on 24 minutes. But Cardiff just refused to lie down. And uh, firing that ball into the circle, it goes down as an own goal. One of the new rules of hockey, just a touch off the defender in the circle, wrong footing the goalkeeper for two all on 32 minutes. And Cardiff just couldn't hang on to their uh, advantage. And Phil Roper, this time from the penalty spot, completing a first half hat trick for him on 32 minutes. Calmly taken. So into the second half, back came Cardiff again. Richard House in the goal scorer this time in open play. Roper completed not just a hat-trick, but a four-goal tally. Again, this, it, this one in open play. Could they hang on this time? Well, we almost could guess the answer. No, they couldn't. Uh, Jimmy, what were your thoughts on that? Well, where do I start, really? Just the only worst thing we can take out is the, the, um, the minute after we scored three of the goals, we just let them straight back into it. It's criminal. We're really disappointed with that. But got to take the positives out of it. We're still just about living uh, for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to say, it's game on for tomorrow now, a really big day for you. Yeah, massive, you know, and um, we've just got to prepare right. Um, we're quite used to tournament hockey being with the Welsh setup going on the Europeans, so we're going to try and use that to our advantage and uh, come out tomorrow. We know we've got to uh, go all at them and put on some goals, so hopefully we can do that. Phil, your thoughts on that? Um, to be honest, thoroughly disappointing. Uh, you know, we, we did play well in patches, but um, sort of some, some little errors have, have, have cost us uh, dearly there. But, you know, everyone's played well. We've just, uh, we've just got to look on for tomorrow and kind of uh, just look at the video tonight and see what we so I went wrong and keep going. Well, you, you top the group, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a precarious position, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, uh, there's still teams that can beat us and we're still a chance that we can still stay in the North Conference next year. So we've just got to do everything we can tomorrow to, uh, to, to secure that place in Prem. I've just said to Phil Roper, you top the group, but it's a precarious position, isn't it, just by one point? Well, the, the game this morning, the Southgate Wimbledon one, was always going to be one where, like one scenario was... Wimbledon beat Southgate, we beat Cardiff. Our oh, jobs are good in, on on Saturday night, but you know there was there couldn't be there couldn't be any focus from us on that result this morning. Um, as it was when you come out and there's a you know there's a game that's high scoring and you know and it's on the balance until late in the game. It can't help but get your attention, but it doesn't change the fact that we we're, we're here for a, two games over two days and we have to do the business in both games. We've, it's not gone quite as we would like to in terms of the result today, but we've got to do, make sure that we do that tomorrow. So that was Vicky Joel, the Sheffield Hallam coach, Phil Roper, the scorer of four goals, and Jimmy Devney, the captain of Cardiff and Uick. So the group is wide open for tomorrow here at Sonny Lane in Reading Hockey Club. Thank you for watching Hockey TV.